In America, at the time of the Revolution, it was extremely common for colonial Americans of all ages and from all walks of life to drink alcohol instead of water. In their minds, strong spirits could cure the sick, strengthen the weak, aid in digestion, perk up the aged, and in general, make the world a better place. Physicians prescribed it, and alcohol was the primary ingredient in most medicines. People took whiskey for colic and laryngitis, drank hot brandy punch to ward off cholera, and ate rum-soaked cherries to help with a common cold. Alcohol was everywhere. Skilled craftsmen drank it at work, as did hired hands in the fields, shoppers in stores, sailors at sea, and soldiers in camp. No election was complete without candidates treating voters, who by law were mostly white males, to bottomless mugs of their favorite drink. Water, on the other hand, was thought to be unhealthy, and in fact, it could make you sick or even kill you if you were careless or unlucky enough to drink it from a polluted source. And to tell the truth, while most water was perfectly safe, it wasn't very appetizing. Few people had access to clear mountain springs, rainwater was unreliable, and most wells were shallow. So that healthy cup of water was likely to be muddy, brackish, cloudy, or taste of iron. Even when it was clean, it lacked nutritional value and was considered fit only for livestock. Most people thought it was much safer to drink home-brewed small beer, hard cider, whiskey, or imported wines and spirits. <laughs>